So not even the Pixar sales can protect Onward. Yeah, these are the people, you know, who will criticize you. If you don't like any Pixar movie, I had to deal with them many, many, many times in the past. If you don't agree with every single movie they like, they'll call you, you know, they'll call you names, they'll call you words. And I'm just sick of listening to them, okay? Onward is a Pixar movie, and I have no interest in it, okay? That's a soccer. I haven't watched a Pixar. The last Pixar movie I saw was Cowards Free, okay? I didn't see The Incredibles 2. I didn't like the first one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pixar and Disney fanboys. I don't like your Precious Incredibles. I don't, okay? I like Marvel and DC movies, but I never found The Incredibles an interesting movie. It's as simple as that. I didn't care about Toy Story 4. It's sort of ended that free. I'm, I, I'm just made the truth there. And I'll always stand by that. Toy Story sort of ended that free, okay? I know people saying, what's wrong with you? Toy Story 4 is actually not a bad movie. I don't know why you can't get over it. But I, but even then, I have no interest in seeing Toy Story 4, okay? Even if, it, even if it was an amazing movie, I still have no interest in seeing it. Onward and Soul, no interest in it either. But now begin its interest be, besides. Onward's IMDb score fell from 8.2, I was at 8.2 last week, and now it's at 97.3 on IMDb. The movie's not out yet, so you can't really tell, but the movie did have early previews, of course, early previews for this movie, okay? You know, sneak peek previews that, you know, they preview the movie, you can watch the whole movie in like one feeder, you know, kind of like how Joker did at the Venice for Film Festival, and, you know, various other movies have, you know, OE previews. Pikachu, I, Detective Pikachu, I think, had an OE preview as well. Sock had one as well. At a fe it's like at these film festivals, they always had these previews for movies. And Onward, it just seems like Onward is a boy. It looks like a boy movie to me. But IMDb, this is, it's at 7.3 on IMDb. It's still pretty decent for a movie, okay? But... If you see this movie's score, it's actually, and now it's at, so according to this, it's 7.4, but let's just stick with 7.3. There's only 957 reviews. We don't know. Well, it, the score is, of course, sub to change, and it probably won't be frozen just like Star Wars. But you can see which movies it has a similar score to. The first movie I'm going to look up is Alita Battle Angel, which has a similar score. This movie, Alita Battle Angel has the same score as a Pixar movie. According to the, according to and I'm B, okay, and the score will probably get much lower because a lot of people are saying that Hollywood is nothing but a brand movie, okay, and that's just you know that's why you know I decided to see there's no movies to see on Spring Break because the only movies that are out are movies that I don't want to see. Mulan remake probably will get bad reviews. People keep saying, "Oh, it won't suck." You're stupid and racist for not wanting to see Mulan remake. I don't care. I don't want to see the Mulan remake. I don't want to see it. I don't want to. See, I have. I have no attack. I haven't seen the original movie either. I have no interest in seeing a movie that you know completely you know pisses on histor the historic accuracy of sign of the history of China. Okay. I don't want to see a movie that you know completely you know ruins you know changes things that can change the history of China just because it has Disney's logo on it. It's just stupid, okay? And movies need to be his. If a movie's about history, I think it needs to be historically accurate, okay? Like, I like, yeah. Keep someone complaining. Oh, but you know, there's United States is not historically accurate, or you know, because there was a those Indians and but India was India was a part of how the Allies in World War One. It makes it makes sense for Indians to fight in World War One, okay? It makes sense, okay? But. Mulan, it's like they're going, we're going through Chinese history and see what part of Chinese history they can ruin next. And that's what Mulan remake see, seems like, okay? What part of Chinese history can they ruin next? What, how much of China can they piss off? They pissed off Hong Kong, and they pissed off anyone who supports the Hong Kong movement that was going on until the coronavirus came around, okay? You know, and I think that the coronavirus will actually hurt the Mulan remake, because... The audience that will be going to go see the Mulan remake, the Chinese, will not be able to go see it because of the coronavirus. They won't be able to see the movie. I've, and the virus is still there in China. So it hasn't gone away like I predicted in March. And it's probably not going to be gone by April either. It's probably going to be gone sometime in May or June in China. Or start to disappear around May or June, okay? But this seems that the onward is just dying, okay? This movie is not interesting. It won't make a billion dollars, okay? This movie won't make a billion gazillion dollars just because Disney's logo, okay? I think people are sick of Disney, you know, 
brand animated movies. The movie Spies in the Sky is an absolute proof of that. And that's another Disney movie as well. And it just seems I think people are starting to get sick of very bad animated movies, okay? Very terrible animated movies to come out over the past year, okay? I think, you know, look at how poorly Pets 2 performed, okay? I think people are starting to get sick of these animated movies, okay? I, not every animated movie is, new animated movie is terrible. There are a few exceptions to animated movies sucking. There's, of course, Japanese anime, which has continued to thrive. But we're talking about Western animation, not Japanese anime. Of course, Japanese anime, of course, most of the movies are, of course, superior to ever crappy cringe that they throw out, like, the Emoji Movie or Ugly Dolls, okay? That, you know, stuff like, you know, where I haven't seen my review, but that movie works way better than Onward, okay? Works way better than Onward. I'm sorry to tell you, Pixar fans, that that's the truth. A Japanese movie works better than a movie by Pixar, okay? And I'm not going to go over the whole, you know controversy over the certain character in the movie, you know, the alphabet controversy, and with Russo, which I already covered that in some detail, but it just seems that this movie is just dying on IMDb, this movie only has a 62% on Metacritic, and people are just not interested in it, unless they don't really care about this movie, it only has a 63 on Metacritic, it's only the 50th best movie of the year, Pixar should be the top of the top, when it comes to the best movie of the year, but they're only 50th. And it's only like one fourth of the year through, okay? One fourth of the year through, and people don't care about this movie. The movie will probably get like average reviews, like 7 out of 10, because that's what most people probably feel about this movie. There'll be those Pixar Royalists giving it 10 out of 10, just because it has Disney's logo and Pixar's logo on it. And there was gonna be the one I can't I can't wait to the con see the comments of these of this video saying it was the Pixar World was saying, Oh, you know what, Godward? You haven't seen it yet. Well, I don't wanna see it. That's the thing. I have no interest in this movie, okay? So overall, onward, no interest in it, okay? No interest in onward, no interest in Buan remake, which I have gone over that as well. And, you know, this movie just now let's go over the good, there actually have been good some anime movies, I'm going to make some examples. There's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse that came out two years ago. No anime movies for, and let's see Count Detective Pikachu as an animated movie, but it really is, and Osaki has it. Those are not even animated movies. That's the thing, they're not even animated movies. Detective Pikachu and Sonic, I don't call animated movies, because it's actual live actors in the movie, which means it's not an animated movie. I'm sorry to tell you, tell these people, who oh, but Sonic's an animated movie! Pikachu's an animated movie! It does, Pikachu does an animated movie as Endgame is, okay? Just as an animated movie as Endgame, or, you know, Arita Battle Angel is. It's the same, it's the, you know, Arita Battle Angel has CGI character. Arita's a CGI character. Used by created by Bows and Caps, the same thing of Thanos, okay? And Rocket, yeah, some of these characters in the Marvel movies are CGI characters, okay? So if you're still telling me that those movies are not, are not you're telling, so, yeah, there's no such thing as a partial animated movie, there's no genre, that genre doesn't really exist, I don't really count Pikachu and Sonic as animated movies, they're just not animated movies, I'm sorry to tell you guys that, but that's how it is, okay? The Dust as animated movies as Endgame and Detective Pikachu, no, not Endgame, Endgame and Arita Battle Angel L animated movies, or Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, or anything, or, you know, any big, you know, flashy blockbuster movie, movie, okay? And if you want to see a movie that doesn't have any CGI, let's go watch Joker. If you don't like movies of CGI, or excessive amount of CGI, there's Joker out there that came out. There's a lot of low-budget movies like Parasite that's out there that won Best Fixer. Okay, and it's Disney, Pixar, Onward, get out of here, goodbye.